LuckyGunner.com works hard to stock ammo to ship today and take care of their customers. They've stood by us all in this ammo crisis and earned my business time and time again. They ship immediately, often same day, so give them your next ammo order. That kind of brings us uh, to your hobbyist grade optics, all right? Burris Fast Fire. Um, uh, I'm sorry, what's the other? The Bushnell one, which I can't remember the name of right now. Uh, any of your other kind of hobby grade optics, they're great to buy a $100 optic, throw it on your 22, go shoot steel challenge or plink at cans or come out to the range as a, you know, training tool, right? Cool, do all that stuff with them. Don't put them on your carry gun, okay? Your life depends on this technology, all right? So uh, that's kind of them in a nutshell. I think the SRO is a fantastic optic, fantastic optic. Why is it not duty ready? Okay, that's a, in my opinion, a marketing decision by Trigicon because they have something like the RMR, which is so durable. The, the SRO is not as durable because of the extremely large rounded uh, glass, okay? Yeah. If I drop that here on concrete, right on that center point of that optic, it's going to shatter and basically be unusable, okay? Um, if I were them, I would probably say not duty ready either. Yeah. Use it as a competition optic. The window is huge. That being said, would I throw one on my carry gun? Yeah, I would have no problem with that. No problem whatsoever, okay? Um, there's really not a whole lot of difference internally between the SRO and the Trigicon RMR uh, other than the battery compartment and things like that. But durability wise, as far as longevity, yeah, totally. It's a solid, solid optic. Um, again, really large window, good and bad, good and bad. So which red dot do I recommend? I recommend literally any of the ones that I talked about, the Hollow Sun, the Trigicon RMR, the SRO. Uh, I don't highly encourage anyone to go with a Loophole Delta Point Pro, a Romeo, any of the lower end optics. Um, again, I, and I hate to say it, the king daddy of optics is the Trigicon RMR. Um, that being said too, I love my hollow suns. I put hollow suns on literally everything uh, because the price is right and the durability is right. And I have no problems with that. I'm not gonna say any, any of these companies is perfect. All right, and we're gonna talk a little bit about that and what the number one issues we see with all optics are. Hollow Sun had a series of serial numbers where, and I had two of them myself, where I brought the gun up in dry fire. I dry fire a lot. I go click, my optic shut off. And I went, huh, that's weird. I racked the slide, the optic came back on and reset itself to the factory settings. I went, all right, that's weird. Click, optic shut off again, reset itself to factory settings, okay? It's a known issue. I called up Holosun, they said, please send that back to us immediately. It is a known issue, we are trying to recover them. Okay, cool. Call them up. By the time my optic got there, another optic was already on its way back to me. There are issues. Technology is technology. No firearm, no firearm out there is free of malfunctions ever. It does not exist. It will happen eventually. Every piece of technology will fail at some point, okay? We are trying to minimize that. And anyone that says, well, then I'll just shoot irons, I have seen way more iron sight issues than I have ever seen red dot issues. And I've been shooting iron sights a long time. I have seen Glock sights fly out in the middle of runs. I have seen, oh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, right? I have seen rear sights drift all the way out just from pressure of sitting in a holster. Right? I have seen sights move in recoil out of a gun. These things happen. I have ripped, I have personally out of a Safari Land holster in a uh, law enforcement class, ripped my front sight off my gun. Crack, oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, these things happen, things break.